Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Some Can't Minecraft. Today, I'm working on my secret volcano base, which I gotta say is coming along really, really nice. Also, there's some new additions to the campsite with a brand new town hall, which I gotta say, Fox Construction Company and Casino and, and Sigils, the diamonds, whatever, all that stuff. It's looking nice. Don't want to miss out. Let me know your favorite part in the comment sections. But yeah, let's jump into today's episode of camp. All right, jumping right into business here on the island. I have some work to do. As you can see, I left all my valuables in the open and if anyone miraculously finds my island uh they can just swoop on in and yoink all my all my stuff which would be a little bit of a concern so what i have to do today is go to the volcano i have a secret uh base in there as you all know if you haven't seen it check out last episode but i've also added an elevator system i'm gonna show all of you that all right and i'm gonna be working on a storage room and then i gotta show you camp because a few things have changed as you all know i've been hired to build a town hall <laughs> It's not that I was doing anything suspicious or not, you know what I mean? And I gotta build a, um, a security system company. Uh, I don't know, Jig and Rabat, whatever it is. I gotta build something that's gonna be cool. But I gotta move all this. I gotta take care of my island first. So let's go do that. In the meantime, I do have an axe that I want to enchant. Um, it's gonna be a horrible enchant, I think. Uh, but it's fine. I don't... I don't have anything that I could... Do I have a book in here that I could try to enchant? I don't think I do. I left all of them in the old base, but it's fine. It's gonna be a horrible enchant, and I'm all about that. I'm all about that. What do we got here? Efficiency 2? I'll gladly take efficiency 2, because it's more efficient than efficiency... It's it's not worth it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's fine. It's fine. Time to go to the volcano. Uh, King Bacon, how you doing? Everybody, uh... King Bacon. This is King Bacon. All right, I'm gonna get in my handy dandy raft with the chest, specifically the one with the chest, because this is my construction raft. As you can tell, when I build things, I need this. <laughs> so it works out perfectly and I can carry things inside. It's also just so cool looking. Like, it's literally like a mini chest in here. It, it is, it's, it, it's, it's cool. Wait, why is it called boat with the chest? It should be raft with the chest. Come on, Minecraft. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let me get into the volcano. Um, I, I think I left it. I think I left the door open because I'm just such an idiot sometimes. I think I did. It's fine. The tall grass is clearly making it impossible to see that there's a <laughs> secret. I got to get better at making this a little bit more secret. All right, now that it's closed, you can see that the inside has been updated. And it looks amazing, I think, right? You got that nice little entrance here. This whole area looks a little bit kind of underwhelming. It's not too crazy. I'm still going to add some cool stuff. But where everything becomes really special is I have a elevator system. This goes up and this goes down. Uh, still needs a lot of work. But in the meantime, let's go down. Check it out. Check it out. I mean, how cool is this? I can make an aquarium up there. That's another plan of mine. I got to build different levels of, uh, I guess, aquariums. Uh, that would be kind of cool. But check it out. Look at it. I got fish over... Ow. I forgot the magma. It's fine. Um, I actually built a small little detailed uh, a fish tank behind the elevator. So as you... You know, it, it kind of looks cool. I have to do the same thing with this side. But check out the room. I, I, I think... It turned out pretty sweet, not gonna lie, right? So, the, the, the theme in here is a lot of spruce, a lot of deep slate, and uh, lanterns, and uh, sea lanterns, all that good stuff, some barrels. It's, 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 an, it's a classic Alex and build. So, that being said, this elevator brings me straight back up. I have to obviously add some fishes and make it look nice like I did over there uh, to this side. And then I have to start expanding in each direction, which I haven't thought that through just yet, how I want to make that. So, um, in the meantime, let me fix up this whole little bit here and make it look like this. Alright, so there you have it. The fish tank is complete. I think it looks really good, right? It, it, it was a little bit challenging. I figured I'll let you all see how challenging it could be at times. But, um, yeah, both sides have a complete fish tank. I think it looks really good. It adds a little bit to the character of this room. But the next thing I need to do, and I gotta try to figure this out, is which direction I wanna go into and how am I gonna build this? Uh, there's a lot that's gonna happen here, right? I gotta have a whole entire warehouse of inventory for myself, right? So I gotta build a huge inventory room room so i think i'm gonna go in this direction so what i gotta do now is i literally gotta sit here and dig a tunnel to build a really big room so uh 
Yeah, let me get to it. All right, so here's the master plan, all right? So what I've done is I've expanded this tunnel. This tunnel is also going to go in the same direction. So as you can see, I'm also starting to dig out in this direction and in this direction because the whole point of this is going to be one big circle. And then after that's all done, I'm going to have different rooms going in different areas. So I'm pretty much continuing to dig in this direction. And hopefully uh, I don't hit anything that's going to be too difficult to mine around. But yeah, this is kind of what I've been doing for the last few minutes now figured I'd show you a little bit of an update on how this whole progress is uh you know is slowly coming together and I think it'll look really good once it's all said and done because like I said I got to build a warehouse and uh it's 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 gonna it's gonna be in one of these rooms eventually <laughs> so let me just keep going and uh, I'll show you how this huge tunnel is gonna come to life when it's all done so the hallways are pretty much complete uh it goes all the way around it took me quite a long time to mine this whole area out. And it just makes me question, um, how much more deep slate do I need? Because this is the theme of the hallways, a lot of spruce, and I'm kind of running a little low on supplies, but not to fear, I'll get it done. Now, the whole point of this is that each wall is gonna have its own room that's gonna be used for whatever. Uh, there might be three rooms on one hall or one room on one hall. I have to still figure out how I wanna configure this. But uh, since we're working on the warehouse uh, for all my inventory, like a nice little storage Room. I figured this is going to be the area that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to stick true with the design I've been using in the center of there. So pretty much it's a barrel over here. We have some, I guess, spruce logs that go down like this all the way to the bottom. And same thing with this side. If I do that, let's see, connect that here. Then I got to actually strip those like this. Uh, I believe I need to use some trap doors. So next I got to just get some trap doors, put it on the second uh, uh, stripped uh, spruce log. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Close those here. Then I'm going to use my spruce stairs. Place them just like this. Alright, same thing with this side. Alright, making some progress. Now the top one is actually going to be just some spruce planks. So all I got to do is connect the spruce planks to the top. Now those should not be there actually. So messed up there. Let me just go back to here. Let's get rid of this one and place the spruce planks all the way out here. Um, I think the spruce planks are going to go all the way to the end. Also, crazy thing is there is a mine shaft and a, what's it called? One of the, the mossy caves. So there's a lot that I'm going to be able to do with this area. And I, I can't, I can't wait for it. It's going to be pretty sick when it's all said and done. We might explore it a little bit later, but I do want to show you some progress at the campsite because I've been working on the town hall. So now that this is done, I had some trap doors there for some extra details. Break the spruce planks over here. This is just a reference point. And there we go. I, I, I think we got a pretty good looking area over here. Pretty happy with the way this turned out. So the next thing I have to do is, uh, you guessed it. I, I got to make a, a, a big, big, big box for all of my supplies to go into. So uh, I'm going to get back to mining. It's going to be a long day again. Today's episode is all about mining. Maybe I find something here. Maybe I find some diamonds. it will make up for this because uh, this pickaxe is actually a really good pickaxe. I, I, I got Unbreaking 3, so it's going to be a while before this thing actually breaks. But uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me just keep at it here. Let me just keep doing the mining. So here we go. All right, so here is the storage room. I think it looks pretty good. I've also started designing the halls a little bit more, so you can see it all come into life. Hopefully, you like the build style. I mean, I got a lot of work to do, obviously. Like, these halls all have to be designed with this specific pattern, but it's all coming together, as you can see. So the next thing I need to do is I was thinking this wall over here should be all contributed for storage. So I'm not going to do some redstone craziness like Sigils does. In the meantime, I'm just going to make it look good and then worry about designing it with some redstone and automatic sorting and all that stuff at a later time. I just got to just get this room looking pretty good. But so far, pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Now, this room is just going to be storage, like I said. And then afterwards, I'll probably figure out what other rooms I should design. So this is my thought process. Um, I'm just going to do... So let me just strip all of these. There we go. Got to do this here and... I'm essentially going to copy what I had here and place it over here. So I'm going to use some spruce, uh, not some spruce, some, some trap doors. It's always hard. It's, it's always hard explaining what I'm doing, but it's, it's coming along. 
um, put some trap doors at the top. So there we go. Now this wall is going to be broken down by one block and then behind is going to be chests. So it, it's it's all going to look really good when it, that's all said and done. So I'm just going to keep doing this over here. I'm just going to keep placing all the stairs like so. Here we go. And then place this side. And I think this side's almost done. All right, perfect. So we're going to put trap. Oh, not a trap door. Jeez. Come on, Alex. All right. Trap door, trap door. Place a trap door here. You know what? It's 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 cut me some slack. All right, I've been I've been nonstop digging in down here. All right, and building this place up to make it look somewhat decent. Um, you know, finer details. I know sigils makes fun of me using trap doors, but you know what? I think it always looks good. So there we go. That's good there. And oh, messed that one up. Let's break that. Put that over there. Okay, cool. So the other thing I need to do is trap doors on this side. Might do that for now just to close up that section and perfect. All right, so as you can see behind me, this whole space is now coming together. So the next thing I have to do is I got to go ahead and like I said, break these walls by one um, and then put, I think I'm going to do double chests um, alongside this whole entire wall and I might mix it up. Maybe some of these will be like a crafting area. Maybe I'll do that on this wall. So let me go ahead and just start breaking this down um, and adding the chests. All right, so now that every single wall has been dug into a little bit, I'm going to show you what I have in mind, and it's going to be pretty simple. All I got to do is um, just remove this bottom portion here. It's not really a big deal, but it's about the details, right? So I just got to grab my deep slate and place that like this. Now all I need to do is grab my chests, and I'm just going to do this. So they're going to go like... Oh, they're... Oh, not, not messing that up, messing it up. <laughs> Totally know what I'm doing here, okay? Totally know what I'm doing. So I just gotta go do this and just keep placing them alongside. So that is what's gonna happen here. There we go. And all I really do gotta do is just keep placing these chests and you'll see what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Uh, if I can just manage to make this work. Let's do this, do this, this, that, boom. So almost done. Um, just place these here. Ah, all right, there we go. Oh, that's that's a challenge. That's going to be difficult. So I wonder if I just do... Is that connected? Okay, cool. Connect that. It's not going to work either. Of course it isn't. All right, all right, all right. Let's just, let's just block up. Of course I can't. And let me see if I can manage to get this done real quick. Um, no, why is it not letting me? I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. Um, idea. I'll do this. I will... Man, why is this so challenging? Um, I think I found my, my, my weakness in, in this game. Uh, come on. Just place. There we go. Okay. That was way more challenging than it had to be. Apologies. But you can see, all right, I got to keep adding this all up to the top. Once that's done, um, I could possibly add a stair like this. And that's already there. I think that will look really, really sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two sections of chests. Um, maybe this one here actually has a wall inside here. So this has like a little cave. It doesn't go far. But what I could do is I could use this to my benefit and design it. So I'll think about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add all this whole entire wall full of chests. So let me get right to it. All right, so the wall is complete. Technically, this area, I still don't know what I want to do with it. I mean, it is pretty cool because it kind of has its own little feel to it, right? It kind of seems like a little mining area that I could develop. So technically, I'm going to leave it for now and figure out what I should do with it in the next episode. Maybe I might just keep it full of chests or I could make it go into a little path for mining and smelting. But I have so much space here to still utilize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start designing these walls and getting this place look pretty nicely because I still have to go to show you the town hall. It is pretty sweet and uh, I, I have to just show you it because it, it's going to blow your mind away. Um, even though this is probably like crazy cool too. So, all right, let me add the final details and uh, we'll go check out the town hall. All right, so I put some more work into the storage room and as you can see, I've actually decided to keep this natural uh, cave here and I've added some more details to it. I put some furnaces, I put some moss, some lanterns, some some pretty much watered down campfires. <laughs> 
extinguished campfires, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's obviously not really useful, but I think it adds to the whole look of this area because I don't want it to be too perfect. And uh, yeah, I think it just blends in really nicely. I've also added a small workbench station. So I'm going to be adding a few more on the opposite side of the wall. And then each other section here, I kind of have to figure out what I want to do with it. I might add more chests or they could end up being tunnels to a mining section. Um, although there is a mine shaft really close by. I found it and I think the mine shaft should be my mining station. So I think next episode, I'm probably working on building a mining area. So probably like an auto smelt factory and, and make it look really, really cool. But so far, so good. I think everything is turning out way better than I expected. Progress is being made. The I feel like this is my favorite base I've ever built so far on Camp Minecraft. I know I've done a lot, but this one is starting to have its unique feel to it. It's all working and coming together. So I got to go up and I think next time I should probably put a sign that says up, down. Uh, I think that one's down. This one's up. So here we go. Oh, wait. I, uh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Completely got that wrong. Um, all right. All right. My bad. My bad. Let's go this way. There we go. So as you can see, also, might as well, uh, there is some really cool areas under here that I want to develop. So I think I'm going to make this an aquarium under here, but let me just go up to the top, close that, close this. I think I did some pretty good progress today. Not going to lie, pretty happy with it. So let me get my little goat horn here and uh, open up the door. This time, I won't forget to close it. Let me, let me just... All right, perfect. And off I go to show you the camp town. What am I talking about? Not Camp Town. The Town Hall. Jeez, my brain is so com confused from being down in the mines and, and building. Oh, man. All right, well, off we go. All right, so uh, back at the campsite, and uh, you probably see it. It's, it's right there. That is the brand new Town Hall, that box construction, and with the funding of the casino and the bank and some diamonds that I still haven't received from Sigils and Zud. Well, it's built, all right? And it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, look, you all know, Nico's house accidentally destroyed. Technically, not Nico's house, right? I mean, it's it's it was still owned by, by Fox Construction Company because Nico never paid me. So, Town Hall is looking mighty fine, all right? And um, why did I just notice this now? Sorry, I pay attention to details, and I built this little campsite... But what, who the heck got rid of my red carpet? That is not cool. I'll have to replace that later. But in the meantime, uh, let me show you the town hall. All right. It's still not done, but I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. And I'm going to make sure to chase sigils down for those 10 diamonds because I need the money. This cost me a lot of time and resources to get built. And it looks so epic. It is pretty much one of my second favorite builds because obviously first favorite build is what we worked on today but let's check out the inside all right it's it's not too big on the inside but it gets the job done we got a table right over here for the camp members to consult and discuss about important discussions like the sun team and the moon boys and uh whatever else is concerning the camp members which there's been a lot of concerns lately um i also have to add secret rooms in here which like i said i gotta build a secret security system so there might be something i might do with this uh town hall in the next few episodes maybe you can leave me your suggestions in the comment sections hopefully no one's here to, no no one's here okay so yeah let, let me know how i should build the secret listening area or whatever like tunnels underground that connects to the uh the security building that I will build in the next few episodes. But yeah, uh, I figured this will be, like I said, the area that camp members talk. This section will be for the new mayor of Camp Minecraft, which is going to be me. Pro pro probably, probably not. Probably not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we got a little book here for the future mayor and a nice little section to make uh, announcements for the camp members. Uh, I probably have to add a second level. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll plan that out and see how that's going to look. And then back here, I have a whole entire area that I fixed, right? So before it used to be a little bit messy, a lot of sugar cane. I cleaned it all up because I'm going to add a market area to this side of Camp Minecraft. We haven't actually used it, and there's so much real estate to work with. So, market area is gonna go here and here, and allow everyone to trade little things and have little market square section, if that makes any sense, right? I feel like I've been doing a lot for Camp Minecraft this season. So, I feel like it should put me in pole position 
to be the mayor of Camp Minecraft. I, I, I prop, no, likelihood, no one's gonna pass that. <laughs> you know, uh, just me with my ideas and, and uh, yeah, mm -mm. not happening. Uh, but yeah, also added a nice little bridge here to connect this side of camp. And you can see the progress, right? I've added, oh, it's Fox, what's up? Okay, cool, there we got, those are all, I guess he's pretty full from eating all the chickens. Yeah, that's probably it. And then I've added a brand new path going in this direction, which is going to allow us to develop more shops and more community builds. Um, I think what I want to do in the next few episodes is build a... I don't, I don't know if it's a good idea, but we could do a storage wars where I have certain storage containers full of good or bad things and have a... Uh, competition with camp members we'll see how that works out but yeah let me know what you think of the town hall i think it looks absolutely epic really like the way it turned out and uh yeah i forgot about you guys this might be a little bit of an issue um don't tell uh yeah don't tell anyone about the fact that we blew up your temporary home you know what i mean we, we can get by it right i mean it's no hard feelings um i know this is kate's shop so just don't tell kate that you came from nico's old house that was blown up by me zud and sigils yeah I, I i don't have anything to trade with you so i can't really make you happy about literally anything here uh i'm gonna get out this is awkward uh hopefully kate doesn't connect the dots but she wouldn't also know that there would be villagers in nico's old house so i guess she just have has employers now that i, I guess she's employed some uh villagers to help out with her brand new shop which looks pretty cool all right uh enough about that um, I gotta fill out this carpet real quick. Let me, you know what? Let me get some red wool. Who? There's no wool shop, is there? This is gonna bug me. So let me go ahead and go get some red wool. I think I have some leftovers somewhere. It's probably at the base. It's at the base. All right, let me go quickly. All right, I got my red wool, and it's looking like I gotta fix this place up real quick. Cause that that that's just a problem. It didn't look good. Um, I don't know. Does that look good like this? Maybe I'll just do. Uh, do I want to actually hold on a minute? What if I made this campsite go a little bit further? I don't know. Now, you know what? This is fine. I think this looks good. I'll break this one. Uh, break that one. I think that looks fine. Just do like that. Much better. My goodness. It was looking ugly without the red carpet. Much better now. Man, I have I have OCD problems sometimes. So, like, I feel like that was a much needed detail. Because that place had it. And I, it whatever. Enough about that. Is there anything new here? Hmm. I don't like this sign. I don't know. We don't need a better lawyer. Nope, we don't need that. Let's see what else. H Bob, kind of cringe. Interesting, interesting. Uh, what else? Blushy for Mary. That's kind of old. We could get rid of this one. Um, you probably noticed that uh, <laughs> the other blushy mayor sign is missing. Fox Construction's getting a little serious here. There is, you know, you know, just had to try to push the votes to Alex in becoming mayor slowly but surely we will dominate Cam Minecraft Zud and I, I mean I mean nope not nothing like that let's get out of here casino actually you know what? let's just go down here did Zud leave any fire resistant potions which would be kind of nice kind of want to go back down there just uh no just ah uh, uh, man I gotta tell Zud to refill all right that's enough hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Cam Minecraft uh stay tuned a lot of crazy things are happening as you can tell it's gonna get wild